What's up everyone, this is Zotakas Tech, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys an awesome, customized, intense, low power mode for iOS 13. And on top of that, I'm going to be showing you a really cool official feature that Apple added with iOS 13 beta, so that way you can get the best longevity of battery life possible on the new version of software for older and newer devices. So without further ado, let's get started with this awesome tutorial. Now before we get started, I'm going to not really do this too often, but I'm shouting out my second channel. I'm uploading there like a couple times a week, so I recommend you guys go and check it out if you want to see other types of videos, and I'll have more videos on that channel in the future. So, let's begin with the tutorial. So you guys may remember way back when, when there were series shortcuts that you could tap on in the widget panel that would actually allow you to turn off Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and a bunch of other cool features like that. Well, iOS 13 allows you to do that, but rather than pressing on a widget, you can press on a certain action like opening up an app or toggling something. So there's actually a cool way that you can go inside a series shortcuts and get it so that way when you tap on low power mode, it'll turn on reduced motion, it'll turn off transparency on top of that it'll automatically lower your brightness turn off cellular data turn on airplane mode and you can create a custom list of actions for your iphone to do every time you turn on low power mode and what's really cool about this is that maybe if you really don't like this you can have it set so that way it will ask you every time you toggle it and you'll get a notification on your screen. So you can just go ahead and swipe and if you choose to have the intense low power mode run, you can tap on run. But if you just want the standard low power mode, you can just ignore the notification. Now there is a way to turn this off so that you can immediately just tap on it and you will see the effects. Now I do just want to mention that this is the first beta of iOS 13. So a lot of the new features that Apple has added aren't currently working. So I was actually having issues with this like 90% of the time, but it still actually works, so I recommend you try it depending on the device you have. Apple also has a new feature called Optimize Battery Charging, and basically what this means is that whenever you plug in your iPhone overnight to charge, that can actually add long-term wear and tear on the battery, and it's not good to let your iPhone sit at 100% for too long while it's charging. So a feature that Apple added to prevent long-term wear and tear on your iPhone, it'll basically detect when you wake up and when you sleep, and so that way your iPhone will reach 80% of its battery life when you plug in your phone when you go to bed, but then it will slowly charge your iPhone, it'll do a trickle charge, so that way it doesn't wear on the battery, and then probably like 30 minutes before you wake up, that's when your iPhone will actually charge. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, I got a bunch of cool videos coming out soon, so stay tuned for that, and as always, peace.